For e-commerce site owners and marketing managers out there, you can track more than just conversions and transactions and revenue. A lot of times when we look at their reports, we see clients just tracking product. So I sell shoes, I see my list of products, and how many transactions per product and how much money I'm making. What we see missing in a lot of e-commerce implementations is reporting on product category. So let's say you're Macy's and you have a section for men, a section for women, and a section for children. You should be able to report at the aggregate how your men category is performing versus your, your women category. So when you roll up your reports to the product category level, you'll see here in the screen that we have some categories that are driving more revenue than other categories. So for example, you'll see that the men watches, these guys with watches are pretty hot, they're driving a whole lot more revenue. You can also see that maybe the tops are not doing as well. So you can act on this data. So once you have your categories defined, you can further segment and look at, for example, traffic sources, campaigns, or even keywords, or a set of keywords that are driving this, uh, you know, the sale to this category. And you can then further, you know, optimize those products. You can uh, send more promotions. And if people buy a lot of watches, a lot of watches for men, uh, maybe we target them with maybe some higher, more expensive watches or things that are more profitable for your business. So looking at the products in e-commerce is one step. To go to the next level, start looking at, at reports on, on reporting by category. If you're interested in setting up categories in your reports, the link here below will show you how to do that in Google Analytics. Good luck and go make more money with your e-commerce product categories. Thanks for watching. For more information on Google Analytics, contact us at info at e-nor.com or visit us at www.e-nor.com.